$100,000 contract with the greatest fighting organization in the world, one fighting championship. And the way to get there is by going through the greatest organization in North America, Warriors Cup. Coming to the ring first, Sean the One Climaco, who has stormed his way through this tournament with back-to-back -back knockouts. Diego Yegazar and Ethan Geffen stoppages. He is originally out of Fremont, California, and his unique non-traditional style and devastating power make him a powerhouse on the Muay Thai scene. This will be his third fight back since tearing his ACL and MCL in a fight last year. Oof, his path to recovery put him on the road to one. And now coming from west to east, he aims to manifest his destiny with the $100,000 contract with one fighting championship. Training at a smash gym with Rudy Ott and also with Jungson on Fairtex, the legend, the wooden man. He will be facing off against smooth Malcolm Hill. This 6 and 0 pro is a slick technician. A very, very high fight IQ. We call him the fighting scientist. Science Tri man. Science man. <laughs> very tricky in his style. He uses space and timing very well. Beat Jamie Mendoza and Felipe Machado, both by decisions to get here. The only thing with Malcolm Hill, the only constant with him is is changed. He is consistently inconsistent, and you just do not know how to predict fighting with a person like this. Mm -hmm. He adjusts on the fly. He. This is a truly great matchup of styles. I think Sean Comaco is similar in style, but going forward, as Malcolm Hill is going backwards. We are about to end the road to one, and it has been such an honor to call these fights throughout the tournament mm -hmm. with you, Molly and to be here for this historic fight. This is a history-making fight in U.S. Muay Thai history. 1FC Vice President Rich Ace Franklin here in the house to award the win to whoever wins this fight. Through all the trials and all the miles to get them here, they are both ready to take this fight and take this contract. We will go to Michael Hansen to get this bout officially kicked off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Melrose Ballroom at this time, three pillar promotions is proud to present to you now the main event of the evening. Five rounds. The final of the Road to One Lightweight Tournament. The winner earning a six-figure contract with one championship. Sponsored by South Boss Stitches. Sanctioned by Gamma, the Global Association of Mixed Martial Arts. Gamma Regional Director Tom Kilkenny and Gamma founder Justin Brown are in attendance. Our judges tonight are Mohammed Ahmed, Marcel Varela, and Brent Bartley. Keeping score and time is Jonelli Rodriguez. Our ringside physicians are Dr. David Kunzel and Dr. Rufus Sadler. And after the bell, your referee, Justin Brown. And so for those here in the capacity crowd, at the Melrose Ballroom in Queens, New York, and for those watching on boxing TV around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set. The fighters are ready to shine. And now it's show time. <laughs> Introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white, he represents Smash Fighter. Official weight, 134 pounds. He steps through the ropes tonight with a professional record. Nine victories, one defeat, and one contest even. 
from Fremont, California, Sean, the one, Trimaco. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, he represents Weapons 9 Gem. He stepped on the scale and weighed officially 134 pounds. And he steps through the ropes tonight with a professional record, six victories, no defeats. Fighting out of Don Ellen, New Jersey, Malcolm, Mr. Smurf Hill. Folks, we are about to see the result right, of this tournament. The back. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves if you want and back up. Folks, this is a rematch. They did meet previously under different rules, under rules with shin pads and different scoring system. With Sean Clamaco taking that, it is a whole different animal now. The end of the road to one is now at Warriors Cup 55. Liam Tarrant and Molly Silverdagle joining you here. Malcolm Hill out of the red corner. Sean, the one Clamaco out of the blue. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds of full rules Muay Thai. Nice low kick from Hill. Beautiful. That's mm. that science. Low kick, but blocked by Hill. Hill with one of his own. Sean's just such an interesting fighter. He is very, he's got this very hybrid style. And yeah. it's, it's such a pleasure to watch, and it has been to see him storm through this tournament with stoppages. Mm -hmm. And Malcolm is, I've, I've said this before when we've watched Malcolm fight, but um, he's really a fighter for the true student of Muay Thai. He's not like the casual person's fighter mm -hmm. because he's so technical, it's so nuanced. find Clamaco has a lot of that. He said he trains with Jong Sinan, the wooden man. He has some of that style and turns it on sometimes. Big kick. And we mentioned the, the rule differences now, and this is the pros between these two when they meet this time. Sean told us he's looking to hurt and finish Malcolm this time. Clamaco doing an interesting job. They're pawing with the hands, trying to control that guard of Hill. One step is allowed. You cannot plow. They'll be grabbing the person going across the ring. Referee Justin Brown warns them. Again, professional Muay Thai, elbows and knees to the head are permitted. This fight for both of these fighters is a measure of everything they've been working up to mm -hmm. throughout their entire fight career, boiled down into five rounds. The amount of pressure and ability the shine through that both of these men have is just yeah, so impressive. For real. Malcolm's always very comfortable on the ropes like that. He'll put himself there, and it to someone who doesn't really know what they're looking at, it can look like, oh, you know, he's in danger, he's in the corner. But he's right at home right there. Clamaco definitely a very intelligent fighter as well. Yeah. Neither man wanted to leave an opening. This truly, I believe, will be a cerebral fight. Yeah. With the highest level of technique and a fight truly deserving to be in this final of the Road to One mm -hmm. tournament. Ooh. Nice head reaction and movement from Clamaco. A nice way to capitalize on it by Hill by landing that kick. And okay, we've gotten to the first round. Both men have seen what the other has. The crew, Chris Tran there in the corner with Malcolm Hill. <laughs> Rudy Ott there in the corner with Sean Clamaco and Jong Sinan, Wooden Man Fairtex, the legend. Jung Sinan and Steph Moncon had this amazing elbow war back in the day. If you haven't seen it, you have to see it. And 
Here we go, second of five scheduled three minute rounds. Referee Justin Brown getting it started. Hill out of the red corner, Komako out of the blue. You can follow more of Warriors Cup action at Warriors Cup underscore 3PP for more top level matches like this. They say football is a game of inches, but you're seeing here this is a game of flinches. <laughs> That was a good one. Thank you. Nice low kick there from Klamako. Nice teeth there from Hill. Hill angling off, getting away. Klamako trying to trap him in there, stalk him down. Now what's different about this fight than Malcolm's other fights is he has not been able to land as many sweeps right off the bat. I think that's kind of one of the things that demoralizes his opponents sometimes when he fights them is he flips them over like three or four times in the first round. Always very impressive to see him go to work, but he's not been able to utilize that technique here on Klamako. Klamako, as we've seen in this tournament thus far, really measures out the opponents for one or two rounds and then turns the gas on. Mm -hmm. So good at finding those openings and exploiting them. And right. I feel like with Malcolm, he's so adept. Oh, oh my what goodness. What was that? It was a knee to the body. Tremendous shot from Klamako. Puts Hill down in the first, and that is such a damaging thing to get a body shot like that down. You know Klamako is aware of it. We'll see what he goes for next. Going for that body once again. Oh, solid headshot there from Klamako. Hill trying to weather the storm here. Klamako turning it on, trying to rain down punches. Klamako very intelligently, not overplaying his hand, waiting and picking his shots like a true professional. Hill back against the ropes where he's comfortable. Klamako just out of range when you go to get him. Both of these fighters are the type where once you think you have the answer, they change the question on you. Yes. Extremely frustrating to fight an opponent like that. Well, and what is really adept about Malcolm is like, he'll notice when he um, when he gets hit with something, he'll kind of, he'll okay, that, that spot is sealed now. It's not getting hit again. 16 seconds remain in this second round. What I like about Sean is that he's also, his timing is so off. We were talking about that with an earlier fight, but he doesn't have a cadence that you can pick up on, really. He has a, a very broken rhythm, yes. Mm -hmm. And in order to, to exploit someone's pat pattern, you have to first be able to recognize their pattern. Klamakro right. doesn't seem to have a pattern. Yeah. He's still currently in the ring. That is his pattern. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's still in front of me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're being talked to in his corner. And to get reckless with either one of these men would be flirting with oblivion. Because they can stop a fight at any time. Let's check a replay of that knockdown here. I believe it was a left knee. Oh, looks like a body kick. Yeah. That was very confusing. Comes up with the left kick. I wonder if it just caught him while he was breathing or something. Did his, did his uh, own elbow push into his... Uh, oh, I wonder if it was his arm. Quite possibly. He has broken his arm. his arm before. We'll see if he still uses that side. That could be an indication. Komako trying to corner Hill now, get him in there. Malcolm broke his right arm uh, once in a fight. That may be the case here again. Nice jab landed by Hill. Nice headshots landed by Klamako. Trying to keep Malcolm in that corner. I think it is the arm. I think you're absolutely right, Molly. Every time that gets mm. hit, you can see Malcolm stop. And he's slightly. not throwing it, and he's keeping it tight. What a warrior staying in there. Pure grit 
and tenacity. If that is the case, I think Plumacco might have picked it up on that as well. She keeps attacking that side. He has taken that weapon away from Hill, essentially. Ooh, after Hill landed that, you can see him wince in pain. Yeah. That may, in fact, be, it could be his arm or could be his hand, even. 149 left in the third here. It's a good thing he's got seven other weapons. And his brain. His brain could be the ninth <laughs> weapon. <laughs> yeah. Fighting on a weapon nine, indeed. That's what it means, isn't it? I believe so. I never figured that out. 133 left in the third. Komako just looking and hunting for that opening. One nineteen. Komako trying to pour on the pressure onto that body. Nice elbow from Hill there. One minute left in the third. Oh, solid hand there from oh Komako. Gosh. The kick puts Hill down. That might have been the hand that did it, or it may be the arm getting affected. Hill is back up. That is two knockdowns so far in this fight, both on the side of Sean Klamako. The Smash Fighter corner has got to be happy right now. He's not even holding onto the ropes the way he normally does with both elbows, so I definitely think it's arm. Nice low kick there from Komako. Komako in there like a true hunter, stalking. 10 seconds left in the third. Nice spin attack there. That will be the end of the third round. And as we go into the fourth, Sean Komako is up two knockdowns to none. See if we can see any indication in the corner of Malcolm Hill what might be going on. If there is in fact an issue. We see Rudy Ott and Johnson on Fairtex there. In the corner of Sean Komako. Malcolm there being talked to by crew Chris Tran. No matter what is going on, you know Malcolm Hill has the heart and tenacity. He will push through to the end. But this fight is far from over. We've got two more three-minute rounds scheduled. And here we go. Fourth of five scheduled rounds is underway. Sean Klamako, blue corner. Malcolm Hill, red corner. High kick, answer to the low kick. And we've seen the hands so effective. Looks like they were there once again. The hands of Sean Klamako have been so effective in previous bouts. Looks like he landed oh a gosh. seriously hard shot there on Malcolm Hill. Malcolm looks stunned. He's a little unsteady on his feet. Will Sean Klamako try to close the show here? Mm. Malcolm, angle out! Oh my God! Malcolm oh lands a head gosh. kick. Malcolm lands a head kick and stuns Kamako. A complete reversal here no. and dumps Kamako. <laughs> Hill is far <laughs> from out of this, and everything has suddenly turned. This room has come alive, oh and Kamako is down once again. <laughs> Malcolm Hill might have just gotten a jolt to come back alive here. Kamako still looks slightly unsteady on his feet. Hill attacking with elbows. The crowd is on fire right now. Even Rich Ace Franklin, VP of one, was to his feet when he saw that kick land. 137 left in the fourth. Plenty of time. And oh, one, gosh. That will be it. Those three, the three knockdown rule coming into effect. Not sure what happened there. Was that a body shot or? I don't know. That was very confusing. Wow, that 
suddenly took a com almost took a complete 180 for Malcolm Hill. Malcolm Hill. Oh, ribs maybe? Could have been a shot to the ribs. Kamako known for those vicious body shots. No matter what the outcome of this is, Malcolm Hill, I would rather fall short in attempting greatness than succeed at mediocrity. Yeah. And both of these men deserve such credit for an amazing run in this entire tournament. We are definitely looking at the future of American Muay Thai. But one thing is certain, we are also seeing the first of Sean Klamako entering the ranks of the largest striking organization in the world, one fighting championship. And Sean Klamako has won the road to glory. So much respect and admiration for both these warriors for what they do in there. Wow, what an end to this historic tournament for American Muay Thai. A historic fight to end it. Let's check a replay and see if we can see what that was. That was a that left looks, body kick. Yeah, right on the arm again. It looked like it hit exactly in the same way, in the same spot as that first knockdown. Yeah. Folks, we want to thank you for joining us here at Warriors Cup. You can follow mm, us at yeah. Warriors Cup underscore three PP. You can see that the kick landed right uh, the same way Malcolm kind of caught it with the underhand. You can follow me at Liam Talks Rights and Molly at Molly underscore Silver Bagel. We will